Understanding the four-stroke engine cycle. The four-stroke engine operates through four sequential phases, intake, compression, power, combustion, and exhaust. These phases work together to complete one cycle, enabling the engine to generate power efficiently. In the intake stroke, the engine draws air, or an air fuel mixture, into the cylinder. As the piston moves downward from the top dead center, TDC, to the bottom dead center, BDT, the intake valve opens, creating a vacuum. This vacuum allows the air or mixture to flow into the combustion chamber, preparing it for the next phase. During the compression stroke, the piston moves upward from BDC to TDC with both the intake and exhaust valves closed. This movement compresses the air or air fuel mixture, significantly increasing its pressure and temperature. This compression ensures that the subsequent ignition produces maximum power. The power stroke is where energy is generated. Near the top of the piston's upward movement, a spark plug in gasoline engines or a fuel injector in diesel engines ignites the compressed charge. The resulting explosion forces the piston downward from TDC to BDC, converting thermal energy into mechanical work to drive the crankshaft. Finally, in the exhaust stroke, the engine expels the burnt gases from the cylinder. The exhaust valve opens, and the piston moves upward from BDC to TDC, pushing the waste gases out through the exhaust manifold. This clears the cylinder, making it ready for the next cycle. In summary, the four-stroke engine completes these phases in two crankshaft revolutions, with the camshaft rotating once to precisely control valve timing. This process repeats continuously, providing the engine with a steady output of power.